Hello, welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, I'm doing a quick video on how to export blueprints from Space Engineers 1 into Space Engineers 2. Now, all of this is done via a mod that was provided by Keen themselves, so the developers of the games have provided this tool to all of us and is available to download for free from the Steam Workshop. But yes, what you want to do before we get started is, of course, go to the Steam Workshop and then find the Grid Exporter tool. So here it is right here on the page. It should be on the front page of the Steam Workshop. You see down here, it was created by Keen themselves. And of course, it's got instructions down here, which is what I'm going to be going through. Once you subscribe to that, all you got to do is now add that into your mod menu. So going back to the main menu, finding my game, into here, edit settings, mods, and now I've got to find the grid exported tool. Once this all loads up, it'll take a fair amount of time because I am subscribed to what feels like a thousand mods. But no, here we are. Now I'm going to find the grid exporter. There it is. And it's just going to simply add it in. Press OK. OK. And now load up the world once again. So once you're into the world, you're going to have a little pop up left hand side of your screen saying the exporter tool has been loaded. And now we are ready to go. So what we've got to do is now actually find a compatible ship. So looking at these ships, what you are going to notice straight away is there's going to be this little red, green, and blue thing that just suddenly appears, which is basically going to be, or you're going to be pointing out the ships to actually export them. But yes, for the ships themselves, because Space Engineers 2 currently has a very limited site of blocks, and in the future it may not even have all the same blocks as Space Engineers 1, so you may end up with issues with your ship when exporting it to Space Engineers 2. But there are special commands that you can do to remove the affected blocks, remove the blocks that do not exist in Space Engineers 2, or you can just have them replaced by steel blocks if that's what you want to do. But no, this ship I found in the depths of the Steam Workshop back from 2016, which should be highly compatible with Space Engineers 2. So yes, this ship is called the DMI Racer Cobra Iron Mark 1, which is what I'm going to be using to export first of all. So with the pointer on the ship, so with that red, green, and blue pointing at that ship, we're going to point it at the cockpit, and I'm going to press enter and type in slash export. There we go. Now, once that's done, we can see we've got a bunch of stuff on there where it says it's beginning to export. It did not recognize certain blocks and that it has saved the grid to a certain folder in the Space Engineers directory. We'll go to that a bit later on. No, as you saw there, it could not recognize all the blocks, which is kind of odd because it was expecting it to actually be fully compatible with Space Engineers 2. We'll see the effects of that later on. But no, what if your ship does have a lot of blocks that are currently missing? So over here, we've got this mining ship where, well, we do not have Amazon thrusters and we do not have the industrial cockpit we're sitting right on the front so once again aiming at that pressing this what we're going to do now is type export there we go and now we're going to do different things so if you want this ship to basically remain as it is but have all the affected blocks removed what you're going to do is now type in false false you have to do it twice press enter and there we go it now saves it to blueprint ready to be copied and pasted across but the industrial cockpit the amazon thrusters will all be removed and then we come all the way across over to, let's say, the good old Dex Fighter this time. So, hunting up all them, looking at the cockpit, and yes, you see a lot of stuff on here which will not be present in Space Engineers 2, but we're going to do a slightly different thing. So, instead of saying false, false, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in true, true. So, it's here, oop, that's the wrong part. Cross there, true, true. What this is going to do is it's going to replace all the blocks that do not exist in Space Engineers 2 with steel blocks. How it handles, I do not know. I haven't actually properly tested it out. I've only been exporting ships that were fully compatible. As opposed to over here, this is a much larger ship, a hydrogen powered ship, where I'm just going to export it all willy nilly just to see what happens. So across to here, removing the true true, and there we go. Oh, it looks like it did not work. So let's go and come across to here, aim it a bit better. Let's do that. And there we go. Now I've probably exported it, had to do it twice. That's ready to go with another fiddling around, which you can see what happens to it when we import it to Space Engineers 2. But as for that, that's all we need to do in Space Engineers 1. So now you can just close out the game and we've got to go down into the folders. So coming into here, you've got to go to your apps data folder, your roaming Space Engineers storage, and then we're going to sort by date modified. So there we go. Then we're going to have a bunch of these type of files right here. Grid export underscore and then the name of the ship. So what we're going to do here is now just go and copy all of these. Now we're going to back out of here to roaming. We're going to come down to Space Engineers 2. There we are. Now we're going to come to App Data. Go down to Space Engineers 1 Grid Exports, which is a folder that already exists in the game. And then we're simply going to paste it in. There we are. We are now ready to switch over to Space Engineers 2 and load up the blueprints. And here we are. Nothing fancy needs to be done in this. No options, no mods need to be added in. Well, actually, you can't even add mods to this game yet. 
No, we're going to press G because there is no F10 menu. We're going to come across the blueprints. And here we are. Here's all of our blueprints. So what we want to do is now copy this because this should be the most compatible with the game. And I did not fiddle around with it. Did not add in extra blocks. Let's just go and drop it down right there. And there we are. The ship, the DMI Racing Cobra Ion Mark 1 has now been imported to Space Engineers 2. Flying rounds. And there we go. We saw some blocks fly off there because they were not attached properly. So that probably would have been the blocks that were missing. I can't actually see what was actually missing on this ship. Could have been that part of the front there, could have been stuff on there. I'm not too sure. But no, it looks like we can just fly this thing around, all nice and proper. And there we are with that one. But how about the other ships? Let's come all the way down to here. And press G once again. Blueprints. Which other one should I do? Let's go and do the mining ship. So copying this. And there we are. So yes, as you can see there, there was a lot of blocks that were not compatible with Space Engineers 2. Let's just go and actually try and realign this thing. It's very annoying that this is using control. The WAS, although it is a bit more intuitive, I am starting to warm up to it. But I'm just so used to using page up and page down. But there we go, that's all that's remaining of the poor little mining ship. Not even drills carried across, which is odd. I was expecting it just to move those ones over to this one. But no, there we go. Pretty much everything, well, everything you need to actually fly, everything you need to drive around and use it, is completely missing. So how about that? But now let's move over to another one. We'll just move away from this, over to here. Blueprints, let's go and try the good old Dex Fighter. So here we go. So this is one that I replaced with steel blocks. And well, as you can see, oh wow, the galley guns did come across, which is odd why the drills didn't work on that one. But no, come across to this one. And there we are. So the cockpit, the finder cockpit got removed by a massive rectangle. And the front here where the camera was has been replaced by a block. Bit of my light moving around. And there we are. We sort of have the Dex Fighter in Space Engineers 2, but that's mainly going because Atmospheric thrusters do not exist, and of course the fighter cockpit does not exist as well. You can see where the connector was sitting right there. That's <laughs> so sad. But no, that's actually actually really impressive with how well that's actually all been done. And then finally, the last one, the one that I did not do anything to, I just copy and paste across to see what would happen. Don't know why I just press F10 once again. Force of habit. But no, over to here, here it is the whole take silver hauler. And well, yes, it's lost all the random blocks, but the general ship is sort of still there, which is sort of impressive, actually. We see on the side there, there's a gyroscope. We see at the back here, we've got our catwalks. We see a window. Where was the way to get inside? I'm not actually too sure. We've got this section all the way up. This is, ah, here we go. So this was the doorway. This was surrounded by all these silver random blocks. So coming inside, let's have a little tour on this section. So there's our control seat to actually drive it around. Through here and in the floor, that'd be a cargo container. Up to here, ship hanging all the way up. And, well, we can move this thing around, we can't fly it. But there we go, there is a Holtec Silver Hauler in Space Engineer 2. But I am very impressed with how that important tool is doing. The more blocks they add to this game over time, the more compatible it should be and the more better it will be. But no, that is how you import to Space Engineers 2. You simply add mod into your world, you point at the ship, you then press slash export, and then you just go and copy and paste that file over to the corresponding folder in Space Engineers 2, then load it in through the blueprint menu. But as for that, that's all there is to this video. I hope it was helpful, and that's a lot of smoke being kicked on. But no, it should be a very good tool to get used to, because that's going to be the main way of actually importing and exporting, unless you do add an option in-game to do it automatically by using a mod. But anyway, there'll be a link to the mod description below to which you download to play around yourself. Highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.